like my journey began yesterday. <laughs> but if I was to be um, precise around, I think that work started in 2001, so that was 16 years ago. It came out of um, a time I had just finished my social work degree and I was looking for opportunities to serve our community. But in doing that, um, I found that a lot of the work that I was doing was kind of like at a deficit model, where um, servicing our civic community was emphasising what wasn't working and um, its brokenness and the negativity. And I really wanted to emphasise all the great things about what it meant to be Pacifica. And so I grew up in Mangere and uh, my parents, I think they did a great job <laughs> not letting me know that I was in a low social economic area, that we were, um, you know, a, of a poorer culture, despite the fact that they were migrants. And when I went on to university in the North Shore, like I learnt about my own community in a way that wasn't encouraging or um, didn't value my community. So I just wanted to turn that upside down. So what I did was I started developing programs in the community that affirmed our culture, our values, our way, and um, that's where Affirming Works came out of. So Dupuanga mentoring means, Dupu means to grow, to spring up, and Anga in character. So Dupuanga allowed us to, to design a mentoring program that went from year 11 up to year 13. So it was a three year mentoring program based on our values and our culture and our roots. So Dupuanga we translate it to mean um, growing from your roots and that was the philosophy of our mentoring program that we've had in Affirming Works for these last 16 years. We've been able currently to design a Dukawanga for juniors, that's in our primary school and intermediate level schools. And we use the same concepts across our family violence program which is currently called Gaina Dukumali, which means prosperous families. In 2010, I had already married my husband at the time, Ali Patea Mafaleo, and um, we were struggling with getting the right funding for the social service agency. So we looked into um, possibly setting up a cafe. His background is in, is in baking. I love his story. He um, came from Tonga as an overstayer and was a cleaner in um, one of the top bakeries in Newmarket. And um, he told his manager at the time, when he was a cleaner, that he could bake just like the German bakers, the French bakers they brought over from overseas because they were always sick. And um, the manager laughed at him and when one of the bakers was sick, Albert, without a doubt, baked his share of um, goods in the factory. So after 19 years, he became a manager of that same factory. And he became um, a very well expert baker. Now I've watched our Pacific families work so hard in um, factories, in construction, on the roads. And I don't think it's their work ethics that let them down. I actually think it's the opportunity to break that invisible ceiling. So um, I'm currently um, supporting other young enterprise schemes, young enterprise entrepreneurs to just really begin to develop in that area. When we saw that the community cafe was going really well, we thought how can we continue to extend our reach in our community and um, as Pacific people we know um, that we've got great Pacific products once again, it's that whole affirming what we have. And so Ali Bate and I were um, on a trip back to Tonga and we were looking to visit the grandparents in the village of Golonga and um, we started to investigate whether there was any coffee we could buy. So we had already set up the cafe and now we were looking at buying um, some Tongan coffee. And we found out that the co actual coffee business was for sale, which was a pleasant surprise for us. And so we were invited to put a bid in for the coffee. So we put this bid in on a Saturday afternoon and we flew back to New Zealand on Monday as scheduled and we got the phone call on Monday afternoon that we were now the new owners of a coffee business in Tonga. Like we had no idea what we bid for and it was the entire processing um, production plant and we flew back a week later um, with our newborn baby and our two-year-old son to only find that um, 
it wasn't going to take us a fortnight to um, set up this coffee business. It was going to take us the next three years. And we stayed in Tonga for three years. And my husband, Ali Bhatte, restored the coffee business and um, built a factory. And I continued to support him in that work. And so um, our coffee continues to provide us here at Afumi Works with the coffee that is used in the community cafe. Thank you.